I thrifted for maybe about like three, four years first. Um, then I went over to Swap Me and started selling there. Um, after a while, we built up enough inventory to get a shop, and then from there, we've been able to just buy out the store. It's been a big blessing for sure. Flea markets were actually almost able to stay open for the most part. Uh, it was open air, so a lot of flea markets got permits, like Rose Bowl opened up, Kobe's opened up. I actually joined Vintage on a dare, fun fact. <laughs> uh, I was at my homie's house, and he was thrifting a couple things, selling them online, and he made it seem pretty fun. Uh, he also said he was making good money, and uh, he said it was very difficult, and that he, I wouldn't be able to do it, so I went out and did it. I went to a couple thrift stores, did it, and then I fell in love with it. It's been my whole thing ever since. Meeting new customers uh, kind of gives you like thicker skin. I've met a lot of good people. I, I've known and learned to like a lot through vintage. Um, and just how people kind of enjoy the things that I've found through like, through thrifting and stuff. It, it, it really it feels really good seeing someone happy about a piece. Vintage will be here for a while for sure. It's still a good uh, sustainable way to get clothes, uh, help save the environment. And it's nice to kind of wear stuff from the 90s and 2000s, like the old styles and stuff like that. So I don't see vintage going away for a while.